Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I would like to share a little unboxing with you guys. Now this is coming from White Mountain Knives and my unboxing knife is actually going to be what I got just in the other day. This is the Remet Rhino D2 Flipper Variation. This thing has been freaking awesome in the workplace. There are a couple of little quality of life nitpicks that I do have that I will share later on once the full review comes around. I'm glad that I am actually using it and, you know, I'm planning to sharpen it soon. And, you know, because there are a couple little things that could definitely be changed in future iterations of this, whether it's a premium one or maybe just a version two with some other cool locking mechanism. Remet is finally doing um, their version of uh, crossbar lock. I believe they're calling it like the axle lock or something um but yeah they have a they have a model out with that locking mechanism already it looks pretty darn cool i might get on the channel might not it just kind of depends on what the finances look like for this month so there's that been doing pretty good i sold a crap ton of stuff on that sale if any of you guys actually picked up some stuff for me recently thank you i really do appreciate that um like 95 percent of that is going to the wedding the other little bit is basic day-to-day -day life stuff all right so cool little sticker of course um we do have some extra spares these look to be a bunch of hardware pieces and some extra omega springs and this is cool because this is actually going to be my first clutch lock having knife the clutch lock is kaiser's version of crossbar access lock style knife um and it's been a around for i believe over a year at this point and i have yet to check it out <laughs> we are now in the new year and i'm barely getting a hold of a knife with it it's just like i've said before when it comes to kaiser if i were to give in to all the variations that i think look interesting and i would enjoy sharing on the channel i would be broker than broke it's just insane how many cool things Kaiser puts out. Um, but this, <laughs> I was actually able to get for just under $100. And I'm hope, I'm hoping it is as good as it sounds as it is on paper. Let's go ahead and get this out. This is the Towser K Mini with the clutch lock. Frag Titanium. And yep, that's, that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, that's nice. Now, to my knowledge, the clutch lock has three or four uh, tension settings. And you can actually adjust those by you know, taking apart the scales. And uh, even the Omega Springs in here, I think these might be a set of slightly stronger Omega Springs. I'm not too sure. I'm going to leave this as is. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad to me. Uh, I have been known to be a little picky when it comes to uh, this style of lock because there are some higher end knives that I've had on the channel that just didn't really cut it for me. Um, but I could be a little nitpicky about it. But as is, I've had the Towser K before, the mini. I had a button lock variation of it. It was the one with Rich Light that came out at the beginning of last year or so. It was cool, sold it off. Um, it wasn't uh, something that, you know, I thought I could really do much with. And at the time that I got it, I was barely getting into customization. And I just can't really do much with what that one was. Now with this, if this does in fact stay in the collection and I do like it for what it is. Um, the blade material on this, it's nothing crazy. It's 154cm. I don't have a lot of that in the collection, but I have experienced it enough to say that it's good, you know, mid-grade, uh, you know, budget steel, I suppose. I don't have any problems with it. And this is the first time I have frag titanium, and it's actually really cool looking. I like it. I don't know if it's a bead blast finish or just like a slightly polished stone wash. It looks beautiful. I like it. I got nothing really negative to say about it. That blade finish is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then jumping here on half half the length of the blade that is wonderful that is super premium feeling it's not super sharp it's not super deep but it feels good 
And you know what? They didn't have to put it there, but they did. And I appreciate that. I love that there. I love jumping. Also down here, you get a little bit of that too. And check out that sharpening choil and plunge grind. That is excellent. Excellent. Don't know if this is a free spinning pivot yet. I will definitely figure that out when I go to do my disassembly and just basic maintenance. But uh, you do have T8s for the pivot. Looks like T8s for the bodies as well. And the clip, it is reversible, which is super cool. Oh, this is another thing I forgot about. Um, there, I think the Towser K is one of maybe two or three models where you can actually change the depth carry of the pocket clip. I'm going to leave it as is. I got nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with it really. But I can move it up, I believe. I can move it up one more if I want to have a deep carry. I don't mind it. It's cool. Nice little lanyard hole for those who enjoy lanyards. And you could see the slight difference in tinge of the titanium versus the steel liners, which are also stone washed and heavily milled for weight relief. This thing feels pretty light. We can go ahead and do a couple little size comparisons and nothing super crazy. Let's just see what's kind of around. So let's get this out nice and centered. Let's do the Manix too. Well, why not? There's that guy. The titanium titty. Everybody loves titanium titty. All right, all right. What else? Let's do a couple others. Now show this beauty off. This is the Glide Strike, Senka Glide Strike. Now what else? What else? A Elementum. I think that's a good amount of size comparison knife. So it's definitely a medium sized knife. But people with slightly larger hands, I'm sure they'd be able to appreciate this design because you are able to actually choke up on this quite a bit. And even though I have slimmer fingers, I wear a large to XL size glove and I still have a little bit of knife sticking out there at the end. So this is nice. I like that for sure. Uh, recently, just the other night, I actually got some Thai pocket clips, put it on here and then here as well. So little quality of life improvements. I, I, I definitely do enjoy the uh, titanium aftermarket pocket clips. Check out that stone washing I did. The edge on this thing, it slices paper towel. It's insane. I absolutely love it. This thing came out awesome. But uh, we could take the weight on this real quick. Test out the factory edge. Sorry, if you hear some weird noises in the background, those are my two dogs going at it for whatever reason. It's like 35 degrees outside. They should be inside. I don't know what the hell they're doing outside. 4.6. Not too bad. Not too bad. Remember, you are getting, uh, you know, half titanium construction, half steel. So it's not super ultra lightweight. Test out that factory edge. I don't really expect anything but... Uh, Essentially perfection from Kaiser. They really, really dialed it in when it comes to the actual finishing of the edge. Some companies overstrop. Some companies don't know what a strop is. Oh, I missed that completely. Oh. Yes. That is wonderful. That is freaking sick. I love that. Oh, just making just such clean sounding slices, super consistent, little to no fuzz at all. That is a beautifully finished edge for sure. There we go. It's gonna take me a second to get used to using the thumb. My middle finger is a little, little sore. I kind of injured it there. So I gotta use a lot of thumb for the next couple days. But side to side, solid, up or down, <laughs> that was really impressive. 
Wow, I, I almost always expect there to be a little bit of up and down with a lock mechanism like this just because it's normal. And even on knives, it costs, you know, two, three times as much as this. I've had it, right? I had a little bit of up and down on my MSI. It's gone now, right? After it's, you know, broken in. But out of the box, this is... <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's crazy. I uh, do believe there are bearings in there. Yep, yep. That's cool. That's cool. And you know what? I think those are the holes for the clutch lock. There look to be five different holes. That's crazy. So five different tensions, I suppose. Let's see on this side. Am I only seeing three on this side? I don't know what's going on there. But like I said, there's a couple different amounts of, you know, variation that you could put on this. If you want it super strong, if you don't, if you want it on the lighter side. But yeah, no, this thing is is good to go. I don't really have anything negative to say about it as of, you know, right now. But this is going in the pocket for sure. Going straight to work tomorrow. And I'm gonna have a good time fidgeting with this thing. I just gotta time it right. I, I don't let go of the bar. Uh... I guess soon enough it ends up like bouncing <laughs> feels a little gritty it's not it's not ultra smooth but i can put a little bit of uh, lubrication on the contacts like right there there and then i can probably go halfway put some like there and there and same with the other side and that should definitely make it a lot smoother the clip I'm not 100% sure if that's titanium. I doubt it. I have a little magnet here on the end of my flashlight. We can check that out. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a steel pocket clip. All right, not a big deal. I mean, this probably would have cost a lot more if it did have a tie pocket clip, but I don't mind a steel pocket clip. I'm assuming all the hardware is steel, uh, steel as well. Not a big deal. Honestly, this feels like a good bit of knife for just around 100 bucks. So... This thing's pretty cool. I like it. I have a good time with it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate all your support and your patience, of course. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing because I play more videos and content coming you guys this way. And with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day.